Because, like, if I said, Dave, there's an alligator behind you, block it out. Like, <laughs> you know, you'd be holy, you know, there's an alligator behind you. Like, you know, whether it was true or not true, like, you're instantly thinking that way. Yeah. But I believe the great is still yet to come. I won't stop by the man until I'm done. So when I was younger, getting into golf, I don't know, 10 years old, like, still a kid, it's, they all. What do all the kids say when you come to the range and they start hitting balls? They want to hit the driver. They want that ball to go far. Uh -huh. They and care about two things. They want to hit the guy in the golf cart. And they want the ball to go far. The yeah. golf cart thing. They'll start screaming over that. They uh -huh. love that. Um, I, you you know, know. I do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. Um, but yeah, similar story. Uh, but yeah, so when I was little. I always thought I gotta hit the ball further. That's my issue. That's why I'm not getting pars. Is that I need to hit the ball further. Um, and then I played with my uncle, who's a shorter guy, uh, not very muscular, but, you know, he's all right. And he was playing a guy who was much, much taller than him, probably 6'3", 6'4", guy was mm -hmm. big. Um, and just same thing, bombing the ball, and I'm in the cart just kind of watching them play. And you're right, by hole nine, and the match is, like, still about tied, the guy's like, what the heck is going on? Like, I can chip, I can putt the same way, right. and nothing's falling, or nothing's close enough inside that 10-foot range yeah, okay. where there's never a chance. Yep. Um, Pills, yeah. So, yeah, and so and I've played a lot of high school golf, too. People will start comparing themselves mid-round. Like, if they think they should be up and they're yeah. not, yeah. you can you can feel that energy in the air. I, I lost a high school match that way. I, 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 it's actually one of my darker moments. I turned to the guy I'm playing with, my, my teammate, and I'm like, this kid actually thinks he's gonna win because like <laughs> like I, I I like in every being fire by being I knew I was better than this kid and I ended up losing the match because yeah. I started thinking about that. I think yeah. everyone that's happened to everybody yeah. for sure. I remember it was like thirty years ago. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I've seen that firsthand how people kind of yeah. comparing themselves mm -hmm. um, can just destroy their mental game. It's a life yeah. metaphor too, right? Yeah. Like if you're at the job and something like that, how come so and so got the promotion? Uh, I got another story. I got a million stories, as you know, but. Uh, yeah, uh, that's that's very Runyon esque. Yeah. Very good. So, what, you had a story too, right? Yeah, yeah. So, first thing you you mentioned how, you know, you've always felt like you had to hit the ball further. Mm -hmm. I did something the other day, and I told you about yeah, it. Oh, for I it. was on TrackMan, mm -hmm. and I was just curious. Um, when I play in tournaments, sometimes my driver gets me in a little bit of trouble. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna find one of the longest golf courses, and one of the most difficult golf courses on TrackMan, okay. and I'm gonna go play this course but I'm not gonna hit any woods under any circumstances. So all I had off the tee was a four iron, all I can do for my second shot was a four iron. What'd I shoot? Couple over. Uh, one over. Nice. I was like, man, it's an easy like game. I don't have to hit the ball that <laughs> far. Like it's, you know, that's like a, I always think a big misconception in golf. I think distance does do you a huge favor, uh, but it, it does. you know, that was just crazy to me. I'm like, man, I was able to do this but with it, just it, a But the thing is with you, Richie, yeah. you're long to begin with. Yeah, so but like, I did, but I played from 7,300 yeah, yards. No, you know, get, most people are playing from 6,300 yards. I get it. Well, so, and and <laughs> if you can, if your other parts of your game are sharp, well, you can do that. What yeah. was the sharp part of my game that day? Wedges. It was my wedges. Yeah. It was my yeah. wedges. It was, well, it you know, around be. the green. <laughs> <laughs> but Thank you anyway, well, sorry. Um, back to the story. So I was going to tell the story about my dad, how he always used to try and get in my head. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I was also going to mention, you know, not always do you have somebody else trying to get in your head, mm -hmm. but something else like weather conditions. Mm -hmm. You know, so I was going to bring up the conference championship. Oh, that's the one. A I'm couple gonna years. Yeah, oh, you were going to tell it? Oh, yeah. Do man. you want to tell it or do you want me to tell uh, it? You know I can what? tell my dad. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell the conference championship story I'll tell my I dad. love that story. You okay. tell your dad. Yes, yeah, please. so the tiger. my dad, and yeah, almost like Tiger Woods, my dad, and this was with every sport that I played, you know, baseball, golf, football, anything. Baseball specifically, I would be pitching. Mm -hmm. And he'd be sitting there in the stands and yell, you can't strike this guy out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or I'd be batting. I'd be sitting there in the batter's <laughs> box. Mm -hmm. This guy's going to strike you out. I'm sure the other parents <laughs> loved your phone. <laughs> yeah. and as a, as a typhus on speed dial. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then in golf, I'd be sitting there ready to tee off, say, on the first hole, and he would throw his whole bag on the ground or start rattling golf clubs. Mm. Or there was even times where he'd throw a tee at me mid-swing. Or he'd be talking to the players in the group, you know, right behind me, and they'd say, shh, you know, he's about to tee off. And he would just go, Oh, no, he's fine. You know, he, he hits with me talking all the time and blah, 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 blah. And 
You know, that I was always... I could see his dad doing this, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. And I could see <laughs> Richie just ignoring him. <laughs> yeah, yeah but, yeah. you know, that was just... That was always tough, especially at first, you know, mm-hmm. learning how to deal with that, because there was no... There was no stopping him from doing that. If you told him not to do it, he would do it more. Yeah. <laughs> so you learned really quick, okay, just don't say anything to him about it. Just, you know, try and block it out. Don't, and then we Don't feed the animals. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But we talked about you don't really, you know, block it out. You accept it and move on from it. And I guess that's more of what I did is, you know, I hear him talking in my backswing to these guys. I hear him say, oh, you know, he's going to, you know, he's going to hit anyway. He's fine. I hear all that. I can't ignore it, like you said. No. But it's blocking that out yeah. and then going. Same yeah. thing if someone were to try and get in your head, you know, in any other sport. Yeah. You know, accept it, block it out, and then move on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. accept it. That's that's what I always use was accept it because I, I, um, you know, the example I, Dave and I were talking before the, or I'm sorry, DMG and I were talking before <laughs> the show was like I, I um, block it out is what I was taught when I was a kid, and then someone phrased something to me a certain way. Head to where it's accept it and move on. Like yeah. accept it as a reality. Because like if I said, Dave, there's an alligator behind you, block it out. Like <laughs> you know, you'd be holy you know, there's an alligator behind like, you know. Whether it was true or not true, like you're instantly thinking that way. Yeah. Or I could say, Hey, you know, guys, um, red, red, red. Don't think about the color red. And like for a brief instant, you'll be thinking about the color red. Oh, so, yeah, because you're wearing red. I know, it's hard not I, to think. I know. It I bet, I bet, I bet, I look I, in this direction. I'm zero. I'm I know. Up. <laughs> <laughs> I got yes. Rucker's red. You got. Ruck, I got my I got Rucker's meeting today at the, the, the 10:30 <laughs> 11. So yes, I'm wearing Rucker's red today. <laughs> Alcohol is no great story ever started with. I'll have a sound.